Hello and welcome back to the Air Armoury. I'm JRH and today I'm looking at the Air Arms TX200 Mark III Air Rifle. This is the first Air Arms gun to feature on the channel, so just a bit of background about them. Uh, Air Arms were founded in 1983 and are based in Hailsham, East Sussex in England. And their history is closely linked to that of another Hailsham air gun manufacturer, Sussex Armoury. And that is a company you have seen on the channel before. In fact, I have a whole video about the Sussex Armoury, so I'll put a link to that in the description below if you're interested. So when Sussex Armoury went out of business in 1982, uh, NSP Engineering, who made all the parts for the iconic Sussex Armoury Jackal rifles, continued to make air guns and went on to become air arms. Now the first guns that air arms made in the early 80s were all actually just slightly improved versions of the Jackal. Um, they no longer said Jackal on them, but they did retain some of the original model names such as the High Power and the Woodsman. So Air Arms then began manufacturing PCP rifles in 1988 and it is those top quality PCP guns that the company is best known for today. Uh, they do however still make a couple of high end spring guns including this one, the TX200. Now this one is the current version, the Mark III, which was introduced in the late 90s, I believe 1998, but the TX200 series was first introduced in the early 90s with the Mark I in I think 1993. So, let's take a closer look at the Air Arms TX200 Mark III. As I've already said, the TX200 is a spring piston rifle. And it's an under lever, which you load directly into the breech under this cover. And that allows for greater accuracy, as it's a fixed barrel and you don't need to try and line up a rotating loading tap as on some underlevers. Uh, the rifle is 105.5 centimetres or 41.5 inches long with a 39.5 centimetre or 16 inch rifle barrel and the barrel is fully shrouded to help reduce noise um, and it is uh, genuinely a very quiet gun to shoot. Uh, this particular rifle is the standard version but you can also get a hunter carbine version which is a shorter 31.9 centimeter or 13 inch barrel and the TX200 is available in both 177 and 22 caliber uh, this particular one is in 22 the rifle weighs 4.1 kilograms or 9 pounds uh, my rifle here is the beach stock version but you can also get a walnut stock version which reduces the weight slightly to 3.9 kilograms or 8.6 pounds. Uh, either way though, it's quite a heavy gun. Um, if you're shooting prone or bench resting, the gun, um, the weight isn't a problem and it makes it feel very controllable and it means there's very little recoil. But if you're walking around with it all day and shooting from standing, it does, still, uh, it does start to feel quite heavy quite quickly. Um, as I've mentioned, the stock is available in either beach or walnut, uh, with this one being the beach version. Uh, it's a very nicely shaped stock with a raised Monte Carlo cheek piece um, and that makes it a right handed gun but the walnut stock version is also available in a left handed version. It has a vented recoil pad on the butt of the gun and a nice rosewood grip cap with the Air Arms logo cut into it but probably the nicest and most distinctive part of the stock is the beautiful fish scale checkering cut into it um, which looks amazing and allows you to get a really good grip. Now as well as the stock the metal parts also look and scream high quality and it's finished in a gorgeous highly polished blue um, and amazingly for a modern air rifle everything on it is metal uh, there's no plastic parts on the gun. Uh, there's just lots of little nice features like the spring-loaded ball bearing in the detent to clip
clip the underlever in place and things like I like how the main cylinder tapers down towards the barrel. It's just a, a very aesthetically pleasing gun to look at. It has a two-stage adjustable trigger and it is a very nice trigger even straight out of the box. Uh, it even looks really nice with that bare metal in contrast to the black trigger guard. Now the TX200 has an automatic safety which engages when you cock the gun. So when you cock it this silver button pushes out to the left and then to fire the gun you push that into the right which then causes this red section to protrude so that you can see you're on fire. And as with all good under levers where you load directly into the barrel it also has an anti bear trap safety to stop you losing your fingers if anything goes wrong. So when you cock the gun these cutouts in the sliding breech cover um, lock into this spring loaded catch so then once it's cocked to release the under lever and close the breech you then push in this uh, which releases from the cutouts and the fact that it's got three cutouts adds to safety as even if one fails you're still protected. With regard to sights the TX200 doesn't have open sights so you need to mount a scope it has an 11mm uh, dovetail scope rail for doing that um, and it also has holes for mounts for the recoil stop screw. Now I currently have a uh, Hawk Air Max EV 3-9x40 AO scope fitted and I have a full video on that scope so I'll put a link to that in the description below in case you're interested. Now I like open sights so for me personally it's a little disappointing that the rifle doesn't have them but it's not uncommon for a gun like this, uh, that is a high-end full-power rifle where the principal purpose is hunting. Uh, it's just that guns in this category are usually PCP rather than spring-powered. So looking at the markings on the gun, you've already seen the Air Arms logo on the grip cap. Most of the markings are on the main cylinder and they're just very lightly etched on. So on the right-hand side we've got Air Arms, TX200, Made in England, and then very small up here, Cal 22-5.5mm. And then turning it over on the other side, we've got the serial number, this one being 130,682. And the one other marking on the gun is found on the recoil pad, how well you can see it there, but it basically just shows that the pad is made in Italy by a company called BMR. I've previously chronographed this rifle, so I know it shoots at a power of 11.86 foot-pounds and I'm now going to test the accuracy. I'm going to fire 10 pellets at one of these 14 centimetre square targets at a distance of around 12 metres and to do that I'm going to be using 16 grain Air Arms Diablo Field pellets. Here I have my target. Now all 10 shots are within this uh, centre blue circle in a one and a half centimetre group. Now that's pretty good, I'm happy with that, but a better shot than me would I suspect do much better still. So there you've seen the Air Arms TX200 Mark III air rifle. Now this really is a fantastic rifle in terms of power, accuracy, look and feel. It is a genuinely pleasant gun to shoot. Now it's primarily a hunting rifle and it doesn't have open sights. Now, I don't hunt and I'm not even a massive fan of optics, but I still own a TX200. Uh, that's how highly I rate the gun. Um, it's a bit of a frivolous indulgence for me as I just use it for plinking and I don't even use it that often. Uh, I'm just a happier man knowing I have one in the gun safe. So if you want to get one yourself, which I highly recommend, uh, they're towards the upper end of the spring gun price range. Now, at the time of making the video, the retail price is £449 and that is for the beach stock version. If you want the upgraded walnut stock it's an additional £60 and if you want a left handed version it's another £20 or £30 even on top of that. Uh, on the second hand market they're around the £300 mark. So I hope you found the video interesting, uh, if so be sure to like, comment and subscribe to the Air Armoury and until next time keep your arms in the air.